let's come to important topics about your surgery in the allied subject about in the medicine as well as the pediatric we have already discussed in the modern pharmacology paper 2 given the surgery is more commonly asked than short note so given that hernia and prost hernia very commonly asked in one and hernia given that we discussed about the direct inguinal hernia and indirect inguinal hernia let the format remain the same etiology pathogenesis clinical features investigations management here the management will be more of surgical so we can write about the surgical management hernia inguinal hernia direct indirect inguinal hernia aggravating factors precipitating factors types of hernia like reducible irreducible incarcerated hernia and all the things benign hypertrophy of the prostate is also one very common condition in this particular uh, surgery prostate age factor is there prostate is enlarged causes urinary retention frequent UTIs and then give rise to bladder hypertrophy you know that the treatment is medical as well as more or less surgical Lump and swelling, different types of neck swelling. We have discussed in the class that, for example, it can be anterior triangle of the neck, posterior triangle of the neck, and depending upon that, we have <coughs> the different differential diagnosis in this particular case. Fissure in ano, that is very common. Is a tear in the mucosa because of the chronic constipation. Symptoms, treatment is xylocaine ointment, and we can also give certain ayurvedic preparations. Cellulitis, burns, and abscess. Important short notes again. Cellulitis is inflammation in the subcutaneous tissue, so growing infection, burns, remember that rule of nine, superficial burns and deep burns, abscess, types of an abscess, and also general management of the abscess. Differential diagnosis of the breast lump, remember that we have delivered a complete lecture on it because we have got CA breast, we have got fibrodenomas, that can also be stages of the CA breast, self breast examination. All those things we can include in this particular thyroid. Again, we discuss about remember that goiter swelling. We have hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Remember that breast as well as thyroid can also be a practical case to you. It can be asked in the important case in the practicals. Remember that. So this is also important thing to be written in the exams. Even in the exam, right? Injury and wound healing. Remember that it can be important. Short note. Injury as well as a wound healing. Wound healing, there are primary intentions and secondary intentions, and what those common things that delay the wound healing. That is what can be done. Vein section is a small surgery that can be performed to get access into the vein. Remember that indications of vein section, process of the vein section, complication of vein section can be written. Shock that we already have discussed. Acute abdomen. Remember to draw the quadrants. <coughs> Remember to draw the quadrants, and then we can write about the important differential diagnosis depending upon the quadrant. This is what the diagram we can draw. Hypochondriac, epigastric, umbilical, iliac fossas and hypogastric, all those causes that we there what we can that we discuss in the class. Okay, ulcer, bed sores, again very common short note that can be asked. Ulcers, types of the ulcers, varicose ulcers and undermine edges and punching punched out lesions. Neuropathic ulcer, bed sores, common management like for the prevention of infection, healing, allow the healing. Bed sores, remember that there are types and there are precipitating factors, common sites, that is what we can write. Urinary retention, more common in the males because of the prostate, females because of the reproductive organs. Remember that. Oral ulcer can be a benign ulcer, can be an aphthalus ulcer, can be cancerous ulcers. That is what uncommon causes and common treatment, that is what we can write. Thank you very much. Best of luck for your exams.